service mode. We take all the valve springs off, we look at all the push rods, do all the stuff we're going to do, change a bunch of jets. I like to start it up, run it a little bit, we'll put all brand new spark plugs in it so we can get a good reading on the spark plugs. But we like to run it for just a second there and wrap it a couple times to make sure that all eight cylinders are fired. And we got a little pressure and vacuum and we got everything back together right now. Uh, so not that we ever mess up putting device. it back together. You actually have vacuum with those big cams in us? <laughs> oh, okay. Well, we, when we talk vacuum... It's minimal vacuum. No, we talk vacuum in the crankcase. Oh, yeah. The pressure in, in So we, uh, we actually have a vacuum, you know, sucking off the bottom yeah, so that the oil goes right, right into there. Um, so these are all the EGTs for all eight cylinders right here. And you can see that all the cylinders are fired, uh, wrapped real good right there. You can see that all the cylinders are laying at 550 to 600 degrees when I wrap it. That tells us that we're hitting on all eight cylinders. We have a spark plug wire loose or a, or a bad plug in the car or whatever. Um, then also look at all the pressures. This is this line here is vacuum. You see it just steadily goes up this blue line right here. So the cursor is, it's going up as it's building back to that crankcase. It's up to about 17 inches right there, just on that little warm up. And I always look at oil pressure. Uh, right now we have about 15 pounds of oil pressure higher. Right there. Yeah. So as the motor gets hotter, it gets less oil pressure. And also as the vacuum gets higher, you get less oil pressure. Because it's a, it's a uh, differential between the two. It's just a measure number of things. And we also measure up here, the top number up here, the little orange line, that's that's fuel pressure of the fuel pump. The next line is the little blue line right underneath it is battery voltage. So we look to make sure the battery is fully charged, 16.9 minutes right there. Uh, and then car pressure, we've got about six pounds of carbon pressure. Right so kind of making sure that everything is where it's supposed to be. Um, but it's too late when you get up to the start line and you find out that you forgot to uh, tighten something up or uh, vacuum or something. Um, and that's pretty much on a warm up, that's basically what we do. And we add that, uh, we keep all those, all those runs in five. So we go back out. And then we go back and look at like Q3A. That's the one for the one that was earlier tonight. And compare the pressures to that to see if anything's changed. Or we can actually look at the one we made. That's a run down the track. That's the last run we made. And the yellow line is the clutch. The red line is the engine. And the green line is the clutch. That's a pretty smooth run right there. That's pretty right there. It's a little weak. Uh, it's about 10 4 right here. 10 3 So you're dropping out 2,000 RPM between here and I like to keep it above 8,500. So uh, that's 8,460. 85,70. 8,600, which is good. Um, 8,400. A little early in the high gear, there probably should have gone a little further. But when I had it, the motor was real rich. We changed manifolds. And when we did, we missed the tune up a little bit because you really can't get it perfect just one run. That's the first run we made with that manifold in this track. So uh, I had the engine a little rich. And typically, I like to ship it at 10, 10,400. But when I was trying to get up there here, it felt real, it got real lazy at the top of the gear. It started to uh, stumble a little bit. And when you get, in first and second, you really can't feel it. I mean, I'm not going to claim that, but in third gear, if you've driven them enough, when, when it, if you got it in third gear, you got enough time where it's going up through there, if you're in there for, for a second, you can feel the motor just starting to hesitate when it gets up high. So I knew in third, it didn't want to go high, just, just, I knew there was something wrong, I didn't know what it was. So when I put it in fourth, I shifted out of fourth a little early because I didn't want to get back up there again. Uh, sometimes you get it right, sometimes you don't. Know. That time I, I got it right. Um, but you can see how smooth the track is here. Um, we got a little bit of clutch slippage off the starting line. And that's where, we're, that's where we lost a little bit of ET right here. We, just a little lazy. We don't want to see that little dip in there. Yeah, that's, a drive line, you said that? that's a drive shaft. Drive shaft. Yeah. yeah. So we check it, then it stops, and we don't want to check it here. We want that to be a smooth right, 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 right through there. But when you, um, when you, you know, if you gear it too aggressively, like 
get too much too far away from zero. If you only got three to one first gear, that's an exaggeration. Right. If you put a three to one first gear, right. it's going to spin the tire really hard. Right. Okay, you won't have that. If you put a two to one first gear in there, you'd have three of them. You'd just go up, 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 try to get off the start. Okay. Okay. So you try to get in between those two. Now. Our margin of error is a two. 60 first gear, and then we run a 262 first gear. Two points, which is like 1%. 1%. But two, you know, from a 260 to a 262 is about 1%. So on that run, we probably needed two points more first gear to make a better run, which is a 1%. Okay, in, in pro stock, 99% is a C, 98% is an F. Yeah, okay. <laughs> that's the way it is. If you have enough power to be number one qualifier, and you take away 2% of that power, you're not going to qualify. And that's pretty much the truth. Average, just talking average numbers. If you're, we're off 1% first gear, that's, we get a B, we qualify, okay, or C. If we were off 2%, we wouldn't qualify. We would have been two points more. So it's very, very small margin for error. It's not like, you know, school where, you know, 100% is an A, and 70% is a C, and 60% is an A. Pro stock is 100% is an A, 99% is a C, 98% is D minus. 97% you definitely don't fall. Yeah, you're going home. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's uh, very, in the, the, the interesting part is that come here we've only got 20 racers here but you got 20 racers racing five different manufactured cars running four different design engines okay? and they all run within a couple hundreds of a second of each other and you got you know as many different personalities tuning them with different attitudes and ideas and different shock absorbers different tires different setups and, and they all run within one percent well, 2% top to bottom. That's what we were talking about. Pretty incredible. Walking over here.